So soon as Brick Baby get cracked with the 75 pounds after being around with BMF, these niggas get indicted. This one, I think his um, snitching career started, bro. Swamp Stories recently featured Brick Baby in a viral video and uncovered more than Brick wanted. This caused a California rapper Snoopy Badass to chime in and make claims that Brick Baby sent Big Meech to prison and took down BMF. Hold on them niggas, he took them niggas down. In this video, we link the series of events that lead to this claim. We also hear an exclusive phone call where Swamp Stories confronts Brick Baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Swamp hey. Stories. How you doing? Hey. We just called you the ultimate troll of YouTube. I, I got questions, Brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm on the video. You caught about four straight Class A felonies in Georgia, back to back to back to back, in the span of two years. Yeah. And you never went to prison. What the fuck happened? Before we look at Brick Baby's response and Snoopy's reaction, this is the Swamp Stories clip on BMF and Brick Baby that triggered this series of events. Nope, Zaire's entrance to Atlanta would be quite the opposite. As soon as he touches down in the city, he links up with his rolling 60s cousins who now run with BMF. So while his classmates are sleeping in the dorms and kicking it on campus, he's with Big Meech at the club and sleeping in his mansion as well. So I'm the youngest little dude, you know what I'm saying, young in the club. 17, 18, I would meet you them though. And as soon as he was introduced to their lifestyle, he fell in love with it and was willing to do anything to impress Big Meech, including trapping and moving weight while being a full-time college student. So just like that, an 18-year-old Zaire is risking his freedom once again. And unfortunately, during his second semester, it would all catch up to him. While heading down the interstate with 75 pounds in his car, a Georgia State trooper gets behind him. He throws some of the bags out of the window, but unfortunately they catch up to him before he can get rid of it all. And just like that, Zaire is arrested and is facing a serious Class A felony. While enrolled as a college student, he's now facing up to eight years in prison. At this moment, everything he's ever worked for is now way out of the window. They caught him red-handed with serious weight, and he's going to be sitting in prison for quite some time. Well, long story short, he pleads guilty to the felony, and now his future is at the hands of a judge. Somehow he gets another lenient judge who sentences him to four months in jail and 10 years probation. Receiving only four months for 75 pounds is very strange, especially in the South. On top of this, during this exact time, BMF was taken down and all of them got 15 to 20 years. With four new big arrests, Atlanta police believe they have just about shut down the so-called Black Mafia family. And as our Julia Harding reports, these suspects were hiding out in one of the city's most popular areas. Anyone tied to BMF um, typically has an extensive criminal history, so we consider them to be very violent. Federal agents seized this limo with secret compartments that had almost a million dollars hidden in Side, an organization that at one time claimed to rule Atlanta. Now agents say that's no longer the case. So now with all of BMF arrested, Zaire just threw his life away for nothing. You started trapping to impress them, and now you'll probably never see them again. <laughs> as soon as Brick Baby get cracked with the 75 pounds after being around with BMF, these niggas get indicted. This one, I think his um, snitching career started, bro. My theory, this theory. So basically, he told on your crew. Zaire didn't care. He told he told on them niggas. He took them niggas down. Now he ain't nobody and he went back off into his world. Oh fuck Zaire. 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 Come on, Zaire. Come on, man. Bro, let it go, bro. Drop the blue rag and just be a, a character on no jumper, homie. I talked to Adam. I told Adam not to fire you, homie. I said, man, you know he need that money. Don't fire that nigga, bro. He gonna go back to, to he gonna really be a confidential after that. Nigga, he ain't getting that no jumper back. Oh, he about to he about to be snitching, nigga, to get his bag, nigga. Adam, Snoopy Badass says, don't fire him, bro. Cause you gonna you gonna let a snitch off the motherfucking books, my nigga. Don't fire him. Keep that nigga, bro. Keep that nigga right there where we can see him. See, we can see his ass no jumper. Let him sit there and keep snitching on himself, letting us know that he a snitch. Because if you if he's not on no jumper, he's gonna be somewhere else doing this fuck shit. No, keep him in our face. We need to be able to watch Zaire. That's a sneaky motherfucker. No Zaire. <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying that you're the reason why Big Meech went down, and that when you caught those seventy five pounds, that uh, 
that uh, Big Beach was already in jail. What the fuck are you talking Wait, about? Wait, how is that not an gr- amazing stream? What are you talking about, Swap? That sounds incredible. <laughs> he really said that? Yeah, he said it, but his quality was so bad that it... it, it, it I'm gonna get him right. I'm gonna get him right. You gotta but, respect uh, him. You gotta respect him for doing a Sherm stream, though. You feel me? That's like a that's a YouTube first. You you love a good a, a good snitch streamer. Huh? Talk about I'm gonna get him right. I'm gonna get him right. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, but listen, but listen. I never said in the video that you had anything to do with with Big Meech going down. I never even insinuated nah, that because nah, they nah. went down. They went down in 05. Your case was in 06. Yeah. So. But that was like a I little subtle I, diss. I felt like you see how he did that right there. Yeah, <sighs> he was trying to be what? slick. I felt like the way you said that right there, you were trying to insinuate. You were like, "Oh, well, it couldn't be." You're kind of saying like, "Damn, it's a year later, uh, so it could be related. There might have been information that was given, etc." No, 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 no. no, no. Look at him. He just mad because he marked out on the last phone call. I'm clearing. Trying. I'm I'm clearing. I'm clearing brick on the uh, on the Snoopy badass uh, accusation. But I, I got questions, Brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. All right. I'm on the video, you caught about four straight Class A felonies in Georgia, back to back to back to back, in the span of two years. Yeah. And you never went to prison. What the fuck happened? I had a great attorney. I went to trial. How you say that shit disappeared when I went to trial on the gun case? I'm just You saying, can't look up the trial on the gun a case? Lot. That's all. Huh? I said you can't look up the trial of the gun case. My shit got dismissed in trial. Listen, I listen, I had a paralegal go through your this is why the video took we so long. We could call Daniel Kane. Huh? I said I could call my lawyer. I'll call Daniel Kane. You should be able to go uh research any type of, I've never had an interrogation. The only one I had an interrogation on was probably when I was seventeen and they definitely probably don't got that because I was telling the officer I went to fuck his daughter. Juvenile shit. records are sealed regardless. What the fuck? Uh, there, what I'm saying the paralegal all there was no further information about your cases <clears throat> which in Georgia they everything's out there. You can find anything about it. It's not like LA where they steal got, anything. So I could get whatever from my lawyers or whatever. I gotta go All get. Right. I already All know right. my I shit. I got another. Yeah, I, got, I gotta put some else out there. But nah, my shit got dismissed second day of trial. I, All right, I got a. I got a better question. I was on Snoopy Badass's stream earlier watching, and by the way, horrible stream. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he, he, he was watching he was reacting to my video yeah, and my what he said was that he thinks that you took down BMF <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying that you're the reason why Big Meech went down and that when you caught those 75 pounds that uh that, uh, Big Beach was that. already in jail. What the fuck are you talking Wait, about? Wait, how is that not an gr- amazing stream? What are you talking about, Swap? That sounds incredible. <laughs> he really said that? Yeah, he said it. You seem like very confident that he is one of the co-conspirators on the on the Lil Pab hit. I mean, who else would Lil Dirt call? Was Brick Baby involved in the Lil Dirt case? Click this recommended video to see a couple of things not being talked about in the Lil Dirk murder for hire case, including why WAC 100 thinks Brick actually is the name co-conspirator number four in the Lil Dirk case. 